Chinese long donut is one of my favorite street foods. It is crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside. In Cambodia, I used to eat it more regularly because they sell it more on the street. In Canada, you have to order it ahead of time. And if you go to the store, if you don't buy it on time, it's always sold out. Chinese long donuts are being served for breakfast. You could put it in congee or you could put it in pho. You also can have it by itself as snack. I have tried to make Chinese long donuts so many times and it never turned out because when you watch people or read the recipe on how to do it, if you only miss a little small steps, your Chinese long donut will never turn out the way it looked like they show you in the video. After so many trial errors, I figure a way and techniques on how to make the perfect Chinese long donut every time. So today I can show you how to do it too. The ingredients to make the Chinese long donuts is very basic. First, we're going to mix the dry ingredients. Two cups of all-purpose flour. One tablespoon of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of baking powder. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Using the hand mixer to mix all the dry ingredients together. After you mix all the dry ingredients together well, now you could add one cup of water. Use the spatula to mix everything well together before you're using your hand. Using the spatula, it is easier than the hand mixer because it is easier to scrape it off. Now you can use your hand to knead the dough for 5 minutes. Knead it until everything combined together nicely. To make a really good Chinese long donut, you have to make sure that the dough is not too dried or tough. So add one more tablespoon of water. At this point, you may be thinking that the dough is too wet and too soft. When the dough is too dried, when it's time to fry the Chinese long donut, it will not expand properly. After you add one tablespoon of cooking oil, now you could place it in the Ziploc bag and store in the refrigerator for 24 hours. I have tried so many methods and techniques and I find it best to store it for 24 hours. If you fry them right away, the dough will not expand when you fry them. The dough needs the cold temperatures to rest and rise, so it is best to store for 24 hours in the refrigerator. This bag here, I have mixed it in the previous day, so you need to take it out from the refrigerator and let it come to room temperature before you do anything else. It usually takes two hours before it comes to room temperature. Spread some loose all-purpose flour on the board. Take it out of the bag. Put some flour on your hand so the dough does not stuck to your hand. Now roll it on the board so the dough not become so sticky. Roll it on the board and make into a log shape. We're going to make a shorter Chinese long donut, so we're going to flatten it and cut them in half, lengthwise. Use the knife and cut it in half equally. Put one on the side and start to work on one for now. In this case, if the dough is was to be so hard, you know how we need to put the flour right on our hand. 
so by the time you put so much flour the dough become too tough to flatten it and become really elastic like the dough when it's softer it is easier to use the roller to stretch them out if the dough is too tough the roller will not stretch the dough into the shape that you like. Use the knife to cut it into equal size. Separate each one and make sure they do not stick to each other before you do anything else. The next few steps here is so important, so you need to pay attention. These steps here are all the secrets and techniques on how to make the Chinese long donuts expand when you fry them. You're going to need two size of sticks. You're going to need the shish kebab stick and that stick you're going to put into the water. Next step, you're going to use that stick and dab every second strip before you put the strip on each other. And make sure when you dab the stick on the strip to only dab in the middle, but not both ends. We're using a small stick to dab water because we want the two pieces to come together, but slightly separated. Now you're going to see what strip are the same size and you're going to stack them on each other. The next step here also very important. You're going to use the thin small chopstick and you're going to press it down. Make sure do not press it all the way to the top. Now you can continue to do the rest till you have no more dough. It is homemade, so you could have some fun. You could make small one or big one, long one, whichever one you like. Now that we got them paired up, the next step, we're going to fry them. The oil, it has to be hot. If it's not hot enough, it's not going to expand properly. When it is ready to fry the Chinese long donut, you could lower the heat to between number eight and number nine. You can use the chopstick to put it in the oil and see if there are any bubble. If there are bubble, that means the oil is hot enough. But I want to also show you if the oil is not hot enough in this case, the Chinese long donut would not rise up right away and they will not expand properly. Usually the first one does not always turn out that nice. The next step here also very important. Remember when I tell you if the dough is too tough, this is why the dough has to be a little bit softer. So when you stretch them, it stays stretched. But if the dough is too tough, when you stretch them, it will pull back. So before you drop in the Chinese long donut strip, you have to stretch them and then drop them in. Do you ever wonder why they always have to put them in a pair before you fry them? I have the exact same question when I was doing it. If you fry the Chinese long donut one strip by itself, it will not expand or have the hollow inside. It will fry it as a breadstick, like a really hard one. But when you put them together and with the proper techniques on how to press and seal them together, that is the only way they're going to expand and make the hollow inside. So the two strips that come together, they use each other to push each other apart and form gas in the oil and then they expand and make the air in between the two Chinese long donuts. I don't know who came up with this idea on how the two strip come together and they use each other to form gas and push each other out to expand. You can fry both sides to golden color. And that's it on how to make the perfect Chinese long donuts. As long as you don't miss any little steps 
on how to make this Chinese long donut, you will make the perfect Chinese long donut every time. I have to learn it the hard way. I think in total I have made 20 times or more before I discover all these secrets and techniques. I hope this video helped you make the perfect Chinese long donut at home. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delicious homemade recipes. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video.